Tony's now from Fort Worth, Texas, wanted in as former Mexican government official. So if Mrs. Maldonado is not released tomorrow, Friday, and no evidence is, uh, you know, put forth against her, I think many Americans are going to boycott Mexico. Would that be fair, Mr. Hernandez? Of course we don't boycott Mexico. Mexico is our friend. I think there are two messages, Bill. One is to Mrs. Maldonado. Our prayers is with, are with you. We hope that you come out being innocent of this. You know, God bless you at this very difficult time. And then the message to Mexico is, thank you, Mexico. We have been pressuring you to be more aggressive with regard to the drugs flowing into the United States. You stopped a bus. You found 12 to 15 pounds, not a few cigarettes, of pounds of, of marijuana that were supposed to come into this nation, and you stopped it, and you're investigating to see right, well, who that's was a, going that's to be putting those drugs in the United States. That's a fairly we kind, back Mexico. Fairly, fairly kind spin. You know, in uh, Corporal Hammer's case, and I'm sure you covered the, uh, the story, sure. Um, he had an antique gun, and I mean, we had to threaten him to get him out of there. So you know as well as I do that Mexico is a chaotic system. Um, in uh, 2011, 113 Americans were murdered in that country. Uh, one person every 30 minutes is murdered in Mexico. It's more violent than Afghanistan and Iraq. And you're telling me that this system down there is okay with you? Mexico is a sovereign nation. Mexico is a land of laws. Mexico's crime is down between 14 to 40 percent. Tourism is up, Bill. It is up around 10 billion now going down to Mexico. In the, and by the way, thank you, Mexico, again, about over 10 billion of Mexicans coming to the United States as tourists to spend their money. Mexico is our friend. We shouldn't be boycotting Mexico. We need to work with Mexico on this very serious problem of drug trafficking. Well, listen, I agree with that, but uh, I think that there's so much corruption and bribery there, so many bad things happening there. I'm not going to go there. I want to go there. i got a friend who lives in the Mayan Riviera. Invite me down there. I want to go go down. I'm not going to go down because I don't believe that, that. I don't believe they're our friend. I mean, you do. I don't. Uh, oh. but this is Molinato. This is this is outrageous. Last person on the bus. Nobody saw her carrying anything. This was professionally strapped under her seat. Uh, the woman's seven children. She has grandchildren. And she's a kingpin drug smuggler of 15 pounds. You buying that, Mr. Hernandez? Are you buying that? <laughs> I, I you buy it. William William Yuri says, "Be soft on the people, hard on the problem." We can tell you buy and Mrs. Is allowing is even, a drug allowing smuggler. even people to spend the night with their family members. It sounds like they're being soft with her. Let's be soft with her. That should be. It sounds like they're being be soft with her. On the problem. Eight days in prison with no bail. That's not soft. All right, Mr. Hernandez, we wanted That's to. That's what we've been pushing we, them to do. We Bill. wanted to give Mexico a fair play, and you did. Thank you very much. Plenty more as the factor moves along this evening. It's graduation time, but you won't find many conservatives giving a 